Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful crayon art. If that is something you're interested in, here's what you'll need. So the first thing you're going to need is a box of crayons. A large box with a lot of different colors. Next, you're going to need some super glue. Any kind will do. Next, you're going to need a picture frame. And I just got this at TJ Maxx and I took out the glass and put in some paint paper. But cardstock would also work. And lastly, you're going to need a hair dryer. Any old hair dryer will work. The first thing I'm doing is cutting my crayons down the sides. I've laid them out on my picture frame and decided what length works best. I'm using a rotary cutter here, but you could also use a steak knife. The next step is to attach the crayons to the picture frame. So here, I'm applying a thin layer of the super glue to each crayon, and then I'm going to hold them on to the picture frame until they stick. Repeat this process for the rest of the crayons. The brand of crayons that I'm using are actually the cheap kind that you can find at Walmart or other craft stores, but I would suggest splurging and getting the Crayola brand as they tend to have less water in them and they make for a prettier picture. Here comes the fun part. Grab your hair dryer and turn it on high. Now you don't want to start too close to the crayons at first. Start back and then work your way towards them. At this point, you may be noticing that your crayons are starting to sweat. Let me zoom in and show you what it looks like. As the crayons sweat, that's what makes the color drip off the end. Continue blow drying your crayons until you get the desired look that you want. I'm going to fast forward it and show you how mine turned out. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's really easy. Here are some pictures of the final product. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would like to subscribe, please do so. Have a good day. Bye.